This is Legends Tower. If built, it'll be the tallest skyscraper in the US, the sixth tallest in the world, and will sit in a city that no one is expecting. As part of a mixed-use mega development, this will nearly double the city's apartment market and could single-handedly revitalize an area to foster unparalleled growth. But there are several concerns with this project, with experts questioning both its feasibility and its purpose, which we'll dive into. And despite drawbacks, this project has already gone further than most would have thought and shows no signs of slowing down. For one of the most headline-grabbing topics in the realm of skyscrapers around the world, let's see what this colossal undertaking is all about. Oklahoma City. It's the largest city in Oklahoma, which isn't really saying much. Perhaps more notable, though, is the significant growth that OKC has experienced over the past decade. The metro area population grew by more than 170,000 people from 2010 to 2020 and has been growing at a yearly rate of 1 to 2 percent since 2020. To accommodate this growth in population, the city has introduced infrastructure upgrades of all shapes and sizes over the past couple of years. But all these ideas wouldn't even be in the same conversation in terms of size and newsworthiness as the newly proposed Legends Tower. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, this is Scott Madison. And it would be wrong to talk about Legends Tower without first mentioning his name. Being the leader of Madison Capital, his sheer will and determination have allowed this ambitious idea to get past the constant pushback, allowing the project to get a fighting chance at development and construction. The project, initially coined as the Boardwalk at Bricktown, was designed to span four towers with a mix of housing, a hotel, and restaurants. The towers were originally envisioned to sort 24 to 26 stories, encompassing three residential buildings in a dream hotel, boasting 315 luxurious rooms. The residential towers were initially expected to bring a combined 1,000 units of housing to the area, which was well accepted given the city's growth. In an interview with The Oklahoman in April of 2023, Scott Madison said the design was conservative and that his company was working with the contractor to keep the costs down. These concepts would quickly become foreign though, as the project's scale was about to increase. In December of 2023, it was officially announced that one of the towers was now planned for an almost mind-blowing 1,750 feet. This would have made it the second tallest building in the US, only trailing the One World Trade Center. But a revised plan in January of 2024 increased the height to 1,907 feet, which not only would make it the tallest building in the country, but as I mentioned earlier, the sixth tallest in the world. Because this was such an outlandish idea for the area, it generated quite the reaction across the country and was one of the nation's Only biggest 2, stories. Thousand foot tower to city council. Title of tallest building in the U.S. Won't be found in Manhattan, but in Oklahoma City. Architects are asking. Architects Orange, a design firm based in California with expertise in entertainment districts, is spearheading the design of the 5 million square foot mixed-use development. As mentioned, the tower is planned to be 1,907 feet, in honor of the year the state of Oklahoma was officially granted statehood. Along with the main skyscraper, this project will feature a retail and entertainment podium along with three towers, each standing around 345 feet tall. The towers will accommodate approximately 900 hotel rooms and 1,776 residential units, which would almost double the current housing capacity in downtown Oklahoma City. This, in theory, would help reduce the cost of housing in the area by adding a large amount of supply. It would also help foster future growth for the sixth fastest growing city in the country. These apartments will range from affordable housing to luxury apartments. And on the top floors of the tower, we'll sit a restaurant and an observation deck with the best views of the city. The other tallest towers in the country are made up of primarily office space, like the Sears or Willis Tower and the One World Trade Center. But the past few years has been the worst span for commercial office real estate in the US since the late 70s and shows no signs of slowing down. This was, in large part, why the new tower is proposed for primarily residential. The property sits at the dead center of other new major developments, like the city's new convention center, the planned 900 million dollar downtown arena for the Oklahoma City Thunder in a 10,000 seat soccer stadium. The city has invested a lot of money into this district and the boardwalk at Bricktown with Legends Tower could be the centerpiece that brings it all together. As mentioned earlier, on January 19th, 2024, the height of the tower was officially increased to 1,907 feet. The announcement was made in a press release by Madison Capital, Architects Orange, and several other development firms. Scott Madison emphasized the development's potential to enhance Oklahoma City's growth, stating that the tower was going to be an iconic destination for the city, drawing investment, new businesses, and jobs. 
The revised plan needed renewed approval from the Oklahoma City Council due to a zoning rule that limited buildings in the area to just 300 feet tall. An exception had been previously negotiated for the original proposal, but a new exception was needed. And on March 11th of 2024, Madison announced that the project had secured $1.5 billion in financing, though Legend Tower still awaited approval from the city council and the FAA. Madison expressed hopes to begin grading and infrastructure work on the entire four-acre site by the end of the summer. On April 11th, the Oklahoma City Planning Commission recommended the city council approve the project's zoning, but expressed concerns about the extensive use of LED signage in the renderings. With this in mind, Madison planned to start the first phase of construction in summer of 2024. 2024, which included two of the towers above the retail podium with the Dream Hotel. And because you're probably wondering, the second phase would feature Legend Tower. And finally, on June 4th, the Oklahoma City Council voted 8-1 to to approve the rezoning needed for Legends Tower, with the building's LED signage still pending approval. Thornton Tomasetti, known for providing structural consulting on skyscrapers in regions with extremely high winds, like Shanghai Tower and Taipei 101, applied their expertise in understanding and designing for wind force. This process involved techniques like wind tunnel analysis. The great challenge for this project lies in controlling the tower's movement to ensure occupant comfort. To address this, the tower will likely feature a concrete mat foundation anchored into the earth by a grid of drilled piers. The structure will include a central core made of high-strength concrete and reinforcing steel, which extends out to a system of perimeter columns supported by outrigger steel braces and post-tension concrete floor framing will fill the gaps between these elements. The engineering team will also consider the use of a mass damper to further reduce the building's sway. Additionally, in preparation for tornadoes, the team will consider using a curtain wall at lower levels to reinforce and protect the tower against flying debris. Many people have come forward over the past few months questioning why this project should even occur in the first place. Often, a city's tallest building is an approximate representation of the population in that area. Think New York City or Chicago. Buildings are generally constructed taller due to an increased population density. And while Oklahoma City is growing fast, the building would be more than twice as tall as the current tallest building and is not an accurate representation of the general population to height ratio that I just discussed. However, on the other side of the coin, if the developer is willing to finance the project, there's no real financial drawback for the city, and in some ways, the city can only benefit. Another popular concern is that such a tall tower is at risk of major issues due to sitting in Tornado Alley. After all, Oklahoma is notorious for huge tornadoes that cause quite a bit of damage. However, one of these tornadoes destroying the skyscraper seems to be a misconception, as both structural engineers and professors agree that the superstructure can be created to withstand these harsh forces. This is not to say the building will be tornado proof, but the core of the building could be specced to handle some of the worst storms. One of the senior principal engineers at a major consulting firm even said that building the core with this in mind would be fairly straightforward. As of today, the mega project has passed every necessary milestone and will most likely ultimately come down to financing. The ambition and desire from Scott Madison reminds me a lot of Garrett Kelleher and the Chicago Spire, a project that was supposed to be the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere, but fell through due to the Great Recession. Many people at this point are very curious to see what will happen. Among these is Oklahoma City's mayor, who is notably lukewarm about the project. Writing in a statement to CNN, In my observation, private developers often announce plans and some of those plans happen, and some don't. I have no strong opinion and look forward to following their effort. If groundbreaking occurs in early fall of 2024, then the entire construction will likely be completed in a couple of years, according to Madison. It's no surprise that the world's eyes will be on Oklahoma City for the next few months, as Madison is just a few key steps away from kicking off the project. If constructed, this will put Oklahoma City on the world map and will no doubt foster a ton of growth. A state that was originally known for its oil, cattle, and railroads may be associated with something completely different in the next few years. I want to say thank you for watching and suggest that you check out some of my other videos. If there's a certain project that you'd like me to make a video about, don't hesitate to comment it down below. Either way, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.